you know, what's better than Fatal Frame or the Tales of the Vesperia? Truth or Lies? It's a series of Truth or Lies. <laughs> Welcome, Welcome back to, to this. Will be this time, your Jimbo gets to go first, we and we're gonna do. Um, teams. Oh boy. Round Why is there a hey dudes? Why is when there was the last time you shredded a gnarly half pipe? Why isn't there a sex addict category? <laughs> What's a sex addict? How do you feel when you have to Why go not? to the dentist for an appointment? You might not like this question. You're not so ice teacher. Just press the triangle just... button to skip it. Dude, I just went to the dentist and sucked. I feel pretty nervous because I don't want them to find anything and then have to go in for surgery and pay five hundred dollars to get a cavity filled. At least a dentist, not proctologist. <laughs> 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 Not your kind of cavity, James, and what the fuck? That was a lie. That was clearly, a clearly it was a lie. lie. You still got a lot of points for lying. Clearly it was a fucking lie. That was a pretty good lie, then. Who in this room is the biggest BSer? You might not like this question, so just press the triangle B button to skip S -er. it. Bull shitter. Yeah. Uh, my, the biggest Brian Stewart in the room is probably Brian Stewart. But next to him, me. I'm pretty Brian Stewart. Yeah. I'm not sure if Brian Stewart's a real person. That's just, <laughs> that's just what I thought of. Oh my god! Oh Christ! Oh my god! Look at all those fucking points! I almost broke a thousand. <laughs> Sonny! Brian Stewart! It dies! Fire! Anyone at school? Who would it be? Okay, this can be any school, so just be broad. Any school you've been to. Probably Mr. Mark Antonio from my, uh, high school American Lit class because he was a horrible teacher. Wasn't a bad guy, just a horrible teacher. It happens. No! No! I would fire him! Uh, yeah, no, there are teachers who are great teachers and bad people, and vice versa. ...in a soccer game costing your team the win. Your father is in the crowd. What now? Looks like I should have kicked from father out. <laughs> I was just gonna say now. <laughs> yeah. If I missed, I probably should have been closer. Duh. <laughs> Still got 200 points for telling a bad joke instead of answering. Time for question number three. Better than getting 400, 400 points for being a racist. You had a hot dog. <laughs> Which I'm not. I got 900 points for making up. Uh. Brian Stewart. I know exactly who I would invite over. <laughs> if it says you're lying, you don't know who the fuck you would invite. <laughs> I know who I'm inviting. I'm not gonna tell you. Um, um, both Emmas. James. Well, yeah. James knows who I invite. Both Emmas and a bunch of people who don't exist. <laughs> so there's one non-Emma who I would invite. That Hey, I really didn't want to tell you this, Mark Antonio, but Jim is a fucking cheater. Can I have extra credit for telling you? Oh, you rat. I'm not just a rat, I'm a rat bastard. No! You don't get extra credit for telling on me! Aw, oh, man! And that's the end! Alright, round one. Tell us our good Most stuff. The answer this round was. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my, the biggest Brian Stewart in the room is probably Brian Stewart. But next to him, me. <laughs> hey, I really didn't want to tell you this, Mark Antonio, but Jim is a fucking cheater. Can I have extra credit for telling you? <laughs> now for the results oh, of round one. And bringing up the bottom, the sorriest liar of the bunch. And Sonny, of I, course. Because I got all those points for that Brian Stewart. <laughs> That's why I'm calling you it. so much. Okay, so you know how like skateboard tricks have silly names? Yeah. From now on, this kind of context is a Brian Stewart. <laughs> what, what, happens if it, what happens if you tell nothing but truths? Does the game still call you a liar if you have the lower score? Do you get more points for telling Round the truth. Two. But, Supposedly. But what if you tell nothing but one. truths? Sunny. Well, then you would hopefully would you get more points. a crash test dummy for a year? For one hundred million dollars? 
Absolutely not. I like money, but I've seen those crash test footage, and I know what forces are at work in a car crash, so hell no. Turns out Jim really wants to do this. <laughs> Very good. Huh. The game got it right. But you still didn't get as many Brian Stewart points. Yeah. <laughs> Again. I would never. Would you shave your mother's head while she slept for an all-expenses-paid trip to Hawaii with your family? Actually, I would probably do that, and afterwards she would probably forgive me because she would love a trip like that. Sounds like you're telling that. Me. My dad would kick my ass, though. <laughs> 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 oh, come on. No liar. I would. Ow, lightning bolt, stop it. Don't be one of those assholes I hear about on the news. Time for question number two. <coughs> Sunny. Would you dance by yourself with no music in front of the whole school to get a date with your crush? So you would be guaranteed the date. Yes. Yes, I would. I would dive into a pool of razor blades for that to happen. This is a little desperate. That sounds pretty desperate. That's like saw too desperate. Like, you will, that is you will die. Uh, I think the razor blades set you over. Yeah. Sorry. Razor blades, kids, usually overkill. <laughs> Pumpkin. I was lying about the razor blades. Yeah. Have a cell phone from the future or a computer from the future. Honestly, about two years from now, I don't know that there's going to be a distinction. It'll happen one day, and everyone will remember you. Huh? What does that even mean? You're telling the truth! Yeah, I'm telling yeah. the truth. Technology's fucking cray-cray! Wow, I got almost as many Brian Stewart's. Question three. Sonny, would you pay $10,000 a year mm. for a personal chef? That's a good deal, but that's still a lot. Considering that's almost a third of my annual paycheck, no. I would not do that. That's to mention, what are you going to use a personal chef for? They would cook all your shit. Oh, the truth! They'd make all your shit. They'd buy all my food and business. Yeah, but how much... What kind of food would you have won? Paninis? Fancy ass! Chicky chicky pot. you want to live to be 30 and have your IQ be a thousand? I'd rather live to a thousand with an IQ of 30. No, just kidding. I, I, I would like to live longer than 30. <laughs> An IQ of 30? <laughs> How does that even work? That's Shit. Shit. That's a lot of Brian Stewart. Um, somebody who is starting to be mentally challenged has an IQ of 80, and that's so 30 is really round. damn low. The most truthful answer this Like, round almost was. forgetting how to carry out basic functions. By the way, functions 100 low. is considered average. The average IQ in America is 95. I'd rather live to 1,000 with an IQ of 30. No, just kidding. I, I, I would like to live longer than 30. <laughs> that would be a good 100 is the global average. average. This is a standard. Yeah, it's a global average. So just, By the way, in Asia, the average IQ is 105 for those tests. Yeah. Actually, I would probably do that, and afterwards, she would probably funny, forgive me because she would love a trip like that. Cool than the one that yeah, most people bought. And here are the results yeah. for round two. And for well, the way I worded it, yeah. The sorriest liar of the bunch. Sonny! Yay, I'm a liar! Oh. Pumpkin! Alright. I'm a filthy fucking liar! Three. So filthy! <laughs> Jim, take off your clothes and take a bath, but you're not wearing clothes! There's a big dance tomorrow. <coughs> you have to take someone in this room. <laughs> <I'm leaving. laughs> well, you're not giving me much trust Hmm. I choose... You, Kyoko Sakura. That's not someone in this room. That's a sticker, Jim. See? That's because she's a sticker. And you'd have to take your fight stick. I can't have anything! And fight sticks are not made for dancing, they're made for fighting. Yeah. Yes? What's the hardest part about school for you? They keep taking you out. Waking up in the morning, that sucked, especially for 8 a.m.s. I remember having to get up to 620 for high school. Oh! That is a lot! You love getting up early. I what love are you talking getting about? up so early that my brain melts out of my ear and I have you to You love getting up at the ass crack of dawn. 
the ass the ass the ass talk of dawn. If you could talk to any dead oh. historical figure, who is he and why? Oh. Who would it be, Jim? I would probably talk to Nikola Tesla because he has some really cool ideas and I'd love to pick his brain. And he actually invented a ton of shit that got yeah. stolen by somebody else. You were telling the truth. What? That's like full p Wait, how many goddamn points did you get? That's like hard catch pretty cure truth. You son of a bitch, you outbrain stewarded me. <laughs> I maxed out. Except you actually answered honestly. What yeah. is the last thing you looked in the phone book for? Oh shit. Oh. I honestly don't know how to answer this question because phone books don't exist anymore. I know it's a point of the question. I'm just answering that all common shit. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? You're full of shit! <laughs> what? Fuck you, game! Giving Jim a goddamn thousand yeah, points for a stupid is, Tesla I, boner! Sonny! I honestly don't Tesla think anybody in the stream has even looked at a phone book. Team, Not in over a year. Teach your kids. Remember, kids, when you share the love, wear a glove. <laughs> Don't you love when they staple the condoms to the wall and say, oh, yeah. use this? Uh, no. You, Jim, use the condoms, pretty good advice. No, Jim, you believe in just spreading the love. <laughs> uh, spreading it all over like a mayonnaise like sandwich. That's why I carry a butter knife into bed. Why did I get this one? Uh, to mow a mommy? Because sometimes I lose my head. This round what makes it a full point or not? The most truthful is your stupid Tesla boner. I would probably talk to Nikola Tesla because he has some really cool ideas and I'd love to pick his brain. And the least truthful answer of this round was... Wait, can you pick his brain while he's alive? Yeah. This is a joke. I can't. Hmm. I choose... You, Kyoko Sakura. I was not lying. Let's look at the results. You were lying. Round you would pick three. me. If it was like a father-daughter dance, I would. If you want to see me next Tuesday, you pick me. <laughs> That's not how that phrase works. <laughs> oh man. Winner <laughs> is. Is it the final round now? <laughs> oh, this round. And here are the. Oh goddamn. The bottom, the sorry. That means you won. Pumpkin. The... Pumpkin. I'm skipping the quick. The most truthful player is. Sonny! Sonny! Your final rank is... Baker. What is that even the point of the ranks then? They're all stupid and dumb! I hope and bad! Know. And derogatory! Right now. And not good! And bullshit! <laughs> Get ready. I like how I used all those options so I wouldn't swear and then I did it anyway. Let's do a round of hot, hot seat and sure. we'll call this an episode. Let's do a hot mess. Um... You take two on the question, so you're in the hot seat first. Okay. It's hard to move, boys. Sonny, press the X button. Oh, God, I have a... This isn't, like, too horrible, but it's a really bad, like, tough decision. Okay. okay. And I will, I will not take a... I, this is an A or B question, so I will not take any kind of C answer. It has to be A or B. Okay. All right. You choose the following. A, you are forced to be a eunuch. B... You lose all taste for the rest of your life. All food tastes bland. Go! Sonny, get ready to answer the <laughs> I don't eat... All food tastes bland. <laughs> I'm telling the truth. I'd rather have the food taste bland. There you go. Ugh. Wasn't that a good question? That was a good question. Tell him what my face looks like it's after you ask that. Jim's face was so afraid. Press the X button when you're finished. He wanted someone else to help him that one. His jaw was <laughs> on the floor. Jim, you better hurry up and pick it up from the floor. Just <laughs> There you go. Okay. <laughs> this is another oh, bad boy. one. Would you rather have a large scary man defenestrate you or deflower you? Sonny, get ready to answer the question. <laughs> oh. 
Well, I guess I'm more likely to survive being deflowered, so... <laughs> no! <laughs> You'd rather be thrown out of the window. Yeah, I'd rather be I think I would. You actually would be rather be thrown out of the window. It could be one, it could be ten feet. Ask the question. Press the X button when you can, you can or you can always get another spine. Your flower only has two petals. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What does that even mean? I mean, shut up. Uh, I, I thought of some pretty good questions so yeah. far. How can I top this? <laughs> I'm so boring and vanilla. Uh, okay. You for the rest of your life you can only watch A or B. Do you choose Freakazoid or Animaniacs? Buddy, get ready to answer the question. Freakazoid. I would rather watch Freakazoid. <laughs> that was I the like, most mild question. I like I had. Freakazoid better than I like Animaniacs. <laughs> Even though I love Animaniacs. There you go. All right, Jim. Start thinking the questions so that so okay. that not a long time. Choose um, another player to be in the hot next seat player. or quit the game. Who is Me. in the hot seat this time? Me. I'm in the hot seat and it's hot, hot and my butt is smoking <laughs> and I'm singing a song it's until Jim's ready as yes, my farts what? catch on fire. Whoa! Finished. Would you rather have? The latest high-end computer every year when it came, like every year, like you have a new high-end, high-end so always PC, up to date. always up to date, always the latest drivers and devices, uh -huh. or would you rather have your computer now never ever ever get a virus or crash or lose any files? Pumpkin, get ready to answer the question. Never ever. I would rather stick with something that works, because technology usually does its best to not work. Viruses are great, and I love doing things over, and this thing is fucking gay and stop it! <laughs> Jeez, <Jay. laughs> but seriously though, hey guys, remember when I had a video uh -huh. called Fucking Viruses? That's a true story, and it was awful, and I cried. I do, when I get bad viruses and I lose a lot of shit, I cry. I get really upset. <laughs> it's a big fucking deal. <laughs> You're incorrect, game. I'm providing the truth, and you're providing the lies! For truth and lies! <laughs> God. <laughs> I love my, like, minute-long response yeah. here. Would you rather have to play Sonic 06 for an hour every day, or would you rather have to watch a PewDiePie series of videos for an hour every day? PewDiePie or Sonic I, 06? I hate you. Pumpkin, get ready to answer the question. For the rest of my life? Yeah, every day for the rest of your life. Okay, I have to temper my answer. I'm gonna say PewDiePie because I can always look at something else and put the volume down low or something. I don't know. I hate <laughs> I would cheat and choose that one. You'd rather play Sonic 06? Not every day! Right. It's a long ass game, it's not that long! Someone to ask a question. Or they just keep playing it for an infinite loop? Get it? Because Sonic runs in loops, except when he does it, because Sonic 06 is broken! I wish- I do wish he still had that, so we could play that briefly. In our briefs. Mm -hmm. That we would- and every time the game Dude! Sonic 06 Poker! Oh god! No, Sonic 06 Strip Poker. Every time the game breaks or does something stupid, you take off an article of clothing. <laughs> oh, that'd be illegal very soon. Guys, if anyone does Sonic Strip Poker, you gotta credit me. Okay. I want that on my resume. <laughs> Sonic, Sonic 06 Strip <laughs> Poker? Just well, never hired. hired. What jobs have you worked? Oh, and I also came up with this. <laughs> When can you start? Okay, would you rather uh -huh. be great in bed but never be able to achieve orgasm? Ooh. Or would you rather have have uh, you know be having sex and just randomly have images of old people pop into your head? Oh <laughs> naked old people. Well I assume <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? Just a disappointed Dave Thomas from Wendy's just looking at you. He's dead, too! Huh? Go. Get ready to answer the question. 
Well, you know what they say about sex. It's a lot like pizza. When it's great, it's great. And when it's bad, it's still pretty great. That's not even an answer! I would choose the former, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's actually, that's pretty much, I'm sure that's pretty yeah. true about... Yep. Yep, 920 Dave Ramsey's. <laughs> I don't know. Quit this game. We're done. We're done. Truth or lies. It wasn't. It was pretty interesting for all the bad reasons. I'm not sure what to think of all of you right now.